ratio and its applications. In this module, you will learn about ratio, equivalent ratios and some applications of ratio. Mom, I'm thirsty. Please make a glass of orange drink for me. Okay, Vinay. Wait, Mom. I want to see how to make it so that I'll be able to make it for my friends when they come in the evening. Mom, how did you know what to add and how much? It is written on the bottle. To make a glass of drink, take one cup of orange squash. Pour it into a glass, add 3 cups of water to it. And then mix them well. Your drink will be ready to serve. Mummy, please make one drink for me too. Now, how will you add the squash and water to make the drinks for both of us? See. To make it for one person, we have to take one cup of squash and three cups of water. For two persons, we have to double the quantities of both the squash and water. That means we need to take two cups of squash and six cups of water. Think, if I have to make it for three, then we have to take three cups of squash and nine cups of water. Here, the quantity of water we have added is three times the quantity of squash. How did you find it out? If we divide the number of cups of water by the number of cups of squash, we get three each time. Mummy, it is denoting three times one. Correct. You know, here you are comparing using ratios. What is a ratio? The comparison of two quantities in terms of how many times is called ratio. Here, the ratio of squash to water is 1 is to 3 and it is read as 1 is to 3. Using ratio, it is easy to calculate. How? The ratio of squash to water for one person is 1 is to 3. If we have to make it for two persons, then multiply the ratio by 2. Then it becomes 2 is to 6. For three persons, multiply it by 3. That is, 3 is to 9. Can you find how much squash and water is to be added for 10 persons? For 10 persons, I have to take 10 cups of squash and 30 cups of water. And I come to know by multiplying the ratio by 10. Here, for all the ratios we have found, we have added water three times of squash. That means the ratio is constant here. Such ratios, which are obtained by multiplying or dividing by any counting number, are equivalent ratios. 1 is to 3 is its lowest form, as it can't be further divided. Correct. Now you get it. We have used the squash and water in the ratio of 1 is to 3. For this, can you write the ratio of water to one glass of drink made? I think it is 3 is to 1. No, Vinay, we can't calculate ratio in different units. Here, the unit for water is 3 cups. Then we have to use the same unit for the drink also. One glass of drink contains one cup of squash and three cups of water. That is, four cups are poured into one glass to make one drink. Yes, that is why the ratio of quantity of water to drink is 3 is to 4. And for quantity of squash to drink, it becomes 1 is to 4. So. While writing ratios, first we have to convert different quantities in the same unit. 
Let's recap. Ratio the comparison of quantities in terms of how many times a quantity is of another quantity is called a ratio. Equivalent ratio. Ratios which are obtained by multiplying or dividing by any counting number are equivalent ratios. A ratio is a comparison between quantities in same measures or units.